So during the week in the Lord, I watched Frank. Now I knew his name. I watched Frank, you know, line up all the wheelchairs for the procession, the stretchers, line them all up, joking with the people who were in them. And I always noticed at the end when we were all lined up for the procession, he would then go and he would pick the heaviest stretcher or wheelchair. And he'd push that into French heat. Something like that. But it was seeing him very late at night, alone in the grotto, praying to our Lady, and that I understood the source of his teaching. This Lord's grotto is a place of grace, and it's come about through a whole series of graces. And it started with an inspiration of John Power, Jessica, and, and so many classmates. We wanted to honor our Lady in this way. But an inspiration is only a seed, and a seed has to be planted. And you know, Jesus warned us that a seed, and he, he carried, and Jesus warned us, and he also showed us in his crucifixion that planting a seed comes with a cost. And it's the cost of suffering. Because unless the seed falls to the ground and perishes, it can't be found. And this inspiration, to create this place of grace, this place in honor of our Lady, where our mother could come and gather and comfort us and heal us for children, and, and many other inspirations that these wonderful students and all the people around and myself have had. So many are personal and so many are private, and some are public, like the inspiration that came to me for Faithfully Catholic College in Ireland. These inspirations have in the mystery of poverty, they germinated and grown in the death of my son, Peter Sam. Let's go back to the whole story. Because, of course, once it's growing, the tree has to be watered. And it has to be watered by prayer, and it has to be tended with many more sacrifices and great generosity. And in the case of this beautiful brother, it has been constructed in generous sacrifice. And Father Hayden, now, with Mother Ruth, the wonderful you know, parishioners here, by Jessica, by Ray, by so many others who couldn't name them, many far away, many near. And it's all of these sacrifices that have brought the grotto, this tree, to full bloom. Beautiful flower that was blessed this morning. But a flower, as beautiful as it is, to the end of the story either. Because a flower is only the promise of fruit. And it's in contemplating the wonderful providence that's brought us this far to today that I can confidently predict that this grotto in Dawsonville is will be a place of miracle. And I mean miracle. That our lady has come and she will thank you, and she will bring her son. And there will be wonderful fruits and the great harvest to save her son. So from here, we're going to see healing. We're going to see miraculous healing of soul and mind and body. We will see our Blessed Mother do everything her mother does. And remember, be her best mother does. She tends wounds. She wipes away tears. She corrects faults, <laughs> discipline. <laughs> she kisses away all the bruises. She soothes the fears and she comforts us in grief. Now Mary, the motherly mother, told Juan Diego to build a place where people could come to her. She told little Bernadette that people should come and bring those who were suffering with her. So the motherly message here is very, very clear. Come and tell everyone else to come. Come to this battle. Gather around. Join those who are ready eternally with Mary. St. Peregrine, St. Bernadette, Kevin, so many of the people remembered in these stones. And with you bring your sick, bring your sad, bring those who have strayed to you and those who have lost even though you may only be able to bring them here in your heart. 
and bring your baby. Bring your babies born and unborn, and bring your babies to the hope come down to Christmas. Our Lady will mind them all as soon as she can. So bring all the shit, all the people that you love, and all the God has given you to love, and especially bring those who wish you home. And bring yourself. And when you finally have to go back home and get back to the daily routine, in some way, leave yourself to live. And leave those that you brought with you behind you. So, Mother Mary, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave myself here. I entrust my son, Kevin, to me. I leave myself and all my family here with me. And I know that we are in the tenderest of hands. The hands that God himself, our Father, entrusted with all his son. So, please let's pray. Mary, our mother, we place ourselves in your heart. Bring us to God, your Father, Jesus, your Son, the Holy Spirit, your Divine Son. St. Joseph, St. Peregrine, St. Bernadette, Heaven, Ruth, and all the angels, saints, and holy saints. Pray for us. Amen. Amen.